Under even keel orthotics is a simple and straightforward process, but it helps to follow these steps when fitting to ensure the most comfort. Over the next few minutes, we're going to show you how to fit your orthotics into the shoes for which they were prescribed. Orthoses are designed specifically to the dimensions of the individual foot and correspond directly to the anatomical configuration of the patient. Please ensure that you fit the orthotic into the shoe type they were prescribed for. That shoe is listed on the prescription summary you receive in the package. Orthoses are marked on the bottom with indications for right or left foot and heel position. Sometimes these can be placed on the top if requested. Heel lifts. If you have documented a limb length discrepancy in your order and requested extrinsic heel lifts, these will be included in the shipment and must be inserted first. Ideally, shoes that will receive the orthoses need to be in very good condition. New shoes are preferable. Shoes should have a removable insole and the native insole should be removed. The insole of the target shoe should be approximately the same length of the orthoses or slightly larger. Step one, remove any existing insoles in the target shoes. Step two, open up the shoe. Completely loosen the laces and pull up the tongue of the shoe as much as possible. Step three, like floors on a building, the lifts with the lowest number should be placed on the lowest tier. Insert the heel lift with the lowest number on the bottom. Often correction to the limb length discrepancy is corrected using the extra lifts. Step four, heel lifts are labeled right or left with a number. With the toe pointed away from you and up, Place the heel lift with the writing face up and the curved edge of the lift matching the contour of the heel portion of the shoe. Step five, curve the device like a canoe. Curve the flanges of the orthoses up by grasping the bottom of the orthoses and applying a firm grip. Repeat until a smooth, consistent curvature of the flange is achieved. Note the label bottom R or L and heel. This label on the bottom of the orthotic indicates which device belongs to which shoe. This must be face down in the back of the shoe. Sometimes we will additionally indicate the right or left on the top, but then we usually only write the L or the R and not the word heel and not the word bottom. Push the orthoses into the shoe. Keep the toe of the shoe pointed up so as to keep the heel lifts placed properly in the back of the shoe. Step six, check the placement of the orthotic. Once the heel is pushed down, place your hand into the forward section of the shoe to ensure that there is no folding of any of the orthotic material at the toe. Feel for parts of the orthotic curling up the sidewall of the shoe or gaps between the wall and the edge of the orthotic. Step seven, heat for 10 seconds. Once properly seated in the shoe, heat the orthoses using a hairdryer for 10 to 20 seconds. High temperature heat guns are not recommended and may compromise the integrity of the material. Do not allow the heat to concentrate on any one area of the orthotic. Keep the heating element in motion. Heat is used to lightly soften the material and facilitate the mold of the orthosis to the foot. Step eight. Try them on, but without socks. Just for the first few minutes of wearing their orthotics, have the patient wear the assembly initially without any socks. The patient should feel a comfortably warm shoe. Their bare foot is molding to the warm foam, which takes the shape of the foot. Step nine, lace snugly. Lace the shoe snugly, beginning the lacing from the base of the vamp up to the ankle, maintaining a snug but not constrictive tension. Step 10, walk for five minutes. Advise the patient to walk for five to 10 minutes to gauge the comfort of the fit and to create an impression on the material. Step 11, make adjustments as necessary. The patient may feel problem areas, which you may want to address by grinding or smoothing with a Dremel or grinding wheel. Step 12, try on again with socks. Once the patient is comfortable, they may also be advised to wear thin, seamless socks to complete the dispensation. Typically, even keel orthoses should feel strange, unusual, different, or weird to the patient, but not uncomfortable. If necessary, even keel can make adjustments to the original design and reproduce an adjusted device. After some time wearing the devices, typically within the first few days, the heel area compresses slightly and creates a heel cup. For consultation, for fitting, or performing any minor adjustments, please call us at 617-383-4435 or email us at info at evenkeelorthotics.com. Thank you for choosing Evenkeel Advanced Custom Orthotics.